Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a lecture with lightweight communication system for BE and TC course. First of all, we are going to see the major elements in any optical fiber link. There is a electrical input which is converted to optical and optical signal is converted to electrical again with the help of optical fiber link. So, an electrical input is first given to a transmitter which is a light source. A light source can be LED or a laser which converts an electrical input into optical. This optical signal then travels on to a optical fiber link. If at all needed, we can convert this optical signal in between to electrical and then again to optical by means of a regenerator. A regenerator is a device which converts optical to electrical and then electrical to optical. This is in electrical domain. Afterwards, the signal again passes through an optical fiber link. In between, if the link distance is very long, we can amplify this signal using an optical amplifier. Optical amplifier is a device which amplifies an optical signal in optical domain itself where the optical signal further being given to a receiver at the destination where the receiver, hap receiver happens to be a photo detector. Photo detector converts optical signal to electrical again where the photo detector can be of different kinds like the photodiode then PIN photo detector and APD. APD is avalanche photodiode. So this is what is actually an optical fiber link where an optical signal travels for a longer distance from one source to the destination. Now in between that optical fiber plays an important role. For that purpose we need to know some characteristics of this optical fiber. So optical fiber has some characteristics. One of them is the in numerical aperture. So to define first an optical fiber, we will have this definition. An optical fiber is essentially an optical wave guide which guides a light wave from one end to the other. Also, it has in construction a core and a cladding. Core is made up of glass or plastic material and a cladding of course can be made up of glass and plastic. Cladding is used to surround the core so that the light passing through a core cannot leave the core. The important characteristics of this core and cladding material is the index of refraction. The refractive index of N, N1 that is core should be always higher than the refractive index of cladding that is N2. Here we are going to see what are the sources used. The light emitting diode and laser diodes are used as a sources in optical fiber communication. Some of the advantages which are listed over here in optical fiber link are greater bandwidth as compared to copper wire. It has low losses. It has better immunity to crosstalk. It has no electrical hazards and it has got important most is flexibility. Then this is the construction of optical fiber communication system in which optical fibers are being used. Here we have a core which is I said what can be made up of a glass or a plastic. Then there is a cladding surrounding to the core which is also made up of glass or plastic. Then we have optical fiber which can be made up of different material and based on that we can define it. <coughs> it can be used for full duplex system. So let us see the definition of some characteristics of fiber which is known to be as numerical aperture. A numerical aperture of a fiber is an important most characteristic which defines a figure of merit which is given as Na which is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square which is approximately equal to n1 root of 2 delta where delta happens to be the refractive index difference and n1 is the core refractive index and N2 is the cladding refractive index. So here it is being shown by the figure. Then we have the construction of a fiber. Here we can see the ratio, the relation between N1 and N2. N1 should be greater than N2. 
then this is the definition of numerical aperture where we can define this it is also depend on the angle of acceptance the maximum angle of acceptance at the core area is uh, defining the numerical aperture so if you want to calculate the numerical aperture value you should know the value of refractive indices core and a cladding as well you can have the value of the refractive index differences thank you